Hey, I'm back. So I already went through five things that you were doing to hurt your social media account. I wanted to actually go over five today. That's going to help it. A lot of people don't know how to go about marketing themselves as a brand, Bill, as a human. That's who you are to your family. And then when you have you, Bill, at work, you're Bill at work. But when you're trying to market Bill as the musician, with this music and this merchandise, you are now a part of that brand. You have to market yourself a little bit differently on social media and on any platform really than you would market yourself to like your mom or like your boss. The first thing and probably the most important thing is using the right hashtags. You don't want to hashtag something like rapper or even unsigned rapper, SoundCloud rapper. Those are really, really big hashtags you're gonna have a very difficult time. You may be able to rank on them if, if you like really put out a really good post that gets tons and tons and tons of engagement. But if you are uh, starting out, you might wanna do like SoundCloud Rapper 2021. All you have to do is like scroll through and look at one that's within a number that makes sense to you. There's a few different applications that you can use that can help you with this. One is called Flick. There's hashtag expert. Usually you have to pay like $10 a month and they really pick your hashtags for you. Like they look at the size of your account, what is your niche, and they hone in on the perfect hashtags that you should be using. Ones that they know that you can rank on. Like hashtags could have their own video because they're, they're that important. They're how Instagram categorizes your content. They're how people find you. It's ridiculous not to use them. So the next thing is professional looking photos are not as hard as you think to get. Even if you have an older phone, now it used to just be like Photoshop was the only thing that you could use to really get a good editing result. But now there's so many applications and so many just programs that you can download where you can take like a old iPhone photo and really make it look good. Just take it in the right light. The newer iPhones have an ability to like remove the background. Um, it doesn't really work all that well yet. In the right light, it probably would. I haven't messed with it too much, but there are a lot of ways that you can remove the background of a photo and just put some kind of solid color back there. Profile pictures that have the musician in them whether you're a rapper or a producer or a singer, pictures of humans do better than logos, even nice logos. You don't have to really be self-conscious. I had that problem for a while. I mean, I, I waited so long before I released anything because I didn't want people picking on my appearance. It's stupid. Who cares if they do? What kind of life do you have if you're just online insulting people's appearances? Go fuck yourself. Don't worry about those people. They're probably not following you. They're probably not listening to your music. Basically, they're irrelevant to you anyway. Merch. I feel like it's an urban legend at this point, but I'm almost positive that it really did happen. I'll have to do some research to see. But I heard that there was a woman that had like over a million followers. I believe it was on Instagram. And she started selling merch. The problem with her followers was they weren't engaged. <laughs> like. I don't know how she went about getting them, like I said, like I didn't super research the story. But from what I heard, with millions of followers, she sold 16 shirts. <laughs> Which is crazy, because even if the million followers had no idea who she was, you would think more than 16 would buy them. And that's one of the things that can kind of kill the engagement rate on your Instagram account. So. Say you went through and you did the follow one follow method to get your account going, which is fine. But then you ended up with a bunch of followers that just followed you because they felt obligated to follow you, which means that they're probably not all that engaged. So once you, your brand picks up and you start to like gain some momentum, you have to go back through there to hopefully you already unfollowed all the accounts that you know you followed so that your ratio from follow on follow is looking good to Instagram. But also you're gonna have to go through and weed out. Instagram tells you straight up who interacts with your account and who doesn't. Just get rid of everybody who doesn't. Don't get rid of every single like. If you're 
if your uncle just doesn't, you know, leave them. But what I'm saying is like, if you don't know who this person is and also the accounts that have been deleted, like it'll say like Instagrammer with just a blank picture, like just get rid of all that stuff and it'll bring your engagement rate up because engagement rate is so much more important than your vanity metrics, which is basically not to say that followers are a vanity metric, but they kind of are. The only reason that to me they don't fall completely into vanity metric territory is because if you are putting together like an EPK or something like that, the follower numbers are going to be looked at when it comes to sponsorships, when it comes to affiliate uh, marketing, the, the followers are looked at. That's just how it is. Also, you show up in people's mailboxes according to how many followers that you have. When it comes to your posts, you will get way more engagement. You will get way more views. You will get way more everything if you just post reels. Instead of doing posts, like I do it IGTV because a lot of people don't move to YouTube to watch my videos. Plus IGTV is gonna be monetizing soon. So I wanna get like some content on IGTV and I suggest that you guys do the same thing if you're looking to monetize your Instagram account. Do reels. It sucks with reels because you can't get a whole lot of analytics out of them. There's a lot of things that you can't do with uh, reels later, but you'll get way more engagement if you use them. Whenever a social media platform introduces a new feature, they want people to use it. So it'll get favored by the algorithm. And that's reels right now. They've been favored by the algorithm for a while. They were a big reason. Knowing how to use hashtags and reels were a huge reason that I grew on Instagram. Because if I was just doing normal posts every single time, nothing would have happened. And the last thing to really make your Instagram kick ass is to have good content on it. Whether you're doing reels, stories, IGTV, posts, just make sure it's good. I know that the carousels are really popular right now. I still am. I mean, I still have problems with Instagram engagement, but I knew what my problem was. People were really bored with my videos, with the, the reels, with like the beat, the 30 second beat videos. People, they, they got me popular at first and then people got sick of them because you can only grind away at the same thing for so long. So I knew that I had to mix it up. And as soon as I did, as soon as I started releasing informational videos like this, my engagement shot right back up. So if you used to have good engagement and all of a sudden it's died, people are probably just getting a little tired of your content. And which is fine. I knew that people were tired of my content for a while before I finally changed it because I was comfortable. I had found a rhythm. I knew what I was doing and I would do it and I would get into my flow. I was getting better and better at editing videos and I, I enjoyed it, but now I have to change what I'm doing so that I don't lose the people that supported me in the first place. And I'll get good at this too. And it's becoming a, a part of my new rhythm. And eventually people will get tired of this too and I'll have to change again. It's, it's constantly adapting. Artists that have stayed relevant have modernized. They've evolved, they've adapted, their music has changed. We're no different. We have to do the same thing. Just gotta evolve and, and adapt to the times. Hopefully this was helpful and you got some value out of it. If you did, uh, leave me a like. Uh, I do music, social media advice, music news, uh, beat selling, yeah, all kinds of all kinds of good stuff.